Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, give me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can do for the court. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kayla Harris. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Herb Dean, third Great party fight. in the octagon Great. tonight. Good. Well, when Rocky Pennington came off the Ultimate Fighter, not a lot of people envisioned that she would make a run towards the title, but that is exactly what Pennington has done. Great testament to what hard work and dedication can do for a fighter. This could be it. And now she's in mouth. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Mm, nice. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent... Oh, she's setting up an arm lock now. Oh, she's got the arm tight. She's got it isolated. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Pennington. She's so busy because it's working. She's doing a great job of landing those ground strikes. Just over three minutes to go. Pennington gets absolutely torched by that uppercut. That one figures to leave him off. 
she gets to the single collar tie. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find openings to land uppercuts and shots right up the middle. Very crafty, finding an opening to land a beautiful punch. Oh, how good was that judo toss? She's stepping over the ball here. Oh, she's got her back. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. She is so dominant from the top position. Great submission defense. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, looked like she got that one home. Another nice strike. And now she has her back. Pennington's back in full mouth. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Nicely done. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big response from the crowd. They appreciate high-level mixed martial arts. is exactly what they just got between these two young women. Take that attempt late in the round, and she gets it. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, Five God. minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after that round. A huge knockdown there in the middle of the round. Got to have her feeling pretty good here as she goes to the store. Back and forth up to that point. But she eventually found the shot that put her opponent on her backside. But how about the toughness? of oh. the opponent to get up off the floor and finish that round. Let's see how she approaches the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. All right, here we go with round two. Nice combination there. And a nice job, at least. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, nice. In the half guard. Oh, big shots from the top. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control? Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Escape, escape, escape. Oh, tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. All right, so her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's going to keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way thus far. She has to. She has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's got to keep trying to throw up submissions. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best grapplers in the division. Oh, Pennington's back to the north-south. That's really good defensive awareness by the opposition. She's not going to get submitted here. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely in it. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. 
not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard. So get to half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. She's moving her head pretty good on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these shots. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get the work and put the money in the bank with that ground and Money in the bank. Massive shot from the top. Ten minutes oh. in the books. Recover. Nice job. Excellent ground control. And that's what I want to see out of you. And that submission attempt was really close. All right, big round for her there. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And a lot of these pictures going to be rooted in that killer ground and pound. Yeah, she got the fight where she needed it to be. You knew that if she was going to be ahead, if she was going to be the one winning, she needed to be on top, landing that beautiful ground and pound. She got the fight where she wanted it. And you see the result. Her dominating the action at the close of the round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Massive left hand. Now we're going. Oh, nice take down. Yep. Back to the feet. Down defense is there. Massive knee to the body lane. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets long. She postures up here. Oh, delivers a big ground and pound shot to the head. Nice pass. Oh, right into Mount. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, Pennington's now dealing with a cheap cut. Nice slip by her there. She's avoided a lot of these ground and pound offerings. Oh. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, oh lands a hip toss now. It looks like some swelling is... Oh, she's got a good submission attempt here. Oh, that's very deep now. Oh, somehow she gets out. It was locked in. She somehow survived. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh. Next three rounds will now head it to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. 
All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She Ready was fight. racing to position. Ready. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Well, we told you off the top her offensive wrestling was off the charts. She gets another takedown there. Now we'll see what she can do. Oh, uh, Kimura attack. Yep. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. All right, so now she chooses to bail on the submission, preferring to maintain a dominant position. Very smart. It was a wise decision. You could see her fight IQ on display there, not giving up the position to try to chase a submission. Pennington's going for a choke here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. High level grappling on display here as she finds a way out and reverses the position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Johnny Lee just gets up. Well, she has had her striking going from the outset, and she continues to invoke damage there upstairs. She said that her opponent was tough. She said that she knew it, but she also said that she thought she relied too much on that toughness, and she is exploiting that. Right. she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the Stop. full guard because Stop. they have so Stop. many different Great. submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions with the half guard. Then continue to try to advance to either get on great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the grappling. Going for a submission. Ooh, she might be in trouble. She's getting closer by a second with that triangle. She did a great job of getting her legs up past the arms. Now she got a lot good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Final seconds of round four. Right, 20 minutes hey, down, stop. five to go. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go. And then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. It is the fifth and final round. Maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent turned. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Really nice job blocking that shot. Well, oh, she's got to keep pressing now. She's got to be 
careful here. And now she's in mount. Beautiful transition. Good, solid strike on the ground. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question. Right hand after right hand from the top position. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, trip off to a side, re-slide in that half guard so that then now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your underhook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. Constantly a moving target. Nice positional control here. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Attempting a choke now. Ooh, looks like she's got the arm triangle choke locked in tight. A lot of pressure on this choke, John. All right, so she bails on the submission, favoring the position. Your thoughts on that? John, she had it pretty tight, but she recognized she was going to lose it. So she kept the dominant position. I think that was very smart of her. This is a terrible position. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. One minute to decide this one. She's back with the sub attempt. Ooh, she's got the arm locked in tight. She's got it set up. She's in position now. She's so smart, John. She maintained position over submission. That's rule number one. She's got her back now. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Great job landing from the top position. All right, so they go the championship distance here tonight, and there are a few things as exciting in mixed martial arts than when a new UFC champion is crowned. And given what she did on the feet tonight, got to think she's going to get the nod. She looked phenomenal. I mean, we spoke to her training camp all week, and they talked about how confident they were that her striking would carry her to victory. I believe she did enough. I believe it's only a matter of time until she is crowned the new champion. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Kayla. Well, DC, I got to give you credit. You sort of foresaw this result.